Yo, what up guys and welcome back to TV Time with Jay and it is time for another Archer Season 11 review and this time we are here to review Archer Season 11 Episode 4 Robot Factory. Now as per usual with my episode reviews, I'll be recapping the events of the episode and then going over my thoughts and feels about the different plot points all throughout. So if you have not seen this week's episode, do yourself a favor, watch the episode first, then come back here and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below because I will be going into spoiler territory. You have been warned. Okay, so first things first, sorry this episode review is a little later than usual, but today, or at least as of recording this video today, uh, the Lakers were uh, starting the finals series up against the Heat, and it is the first time the Lakers has been to the finals in like 10 years, and I'm a big Laker fan, so I had to watch it. I apologize, but we're here now, so let's go ahead and talk about the episode. Also, before we get started, thank you to everybody who's been supporting these videos. Uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of comments, a lot of good back and forth conversation um, with the uh, these reviews, so uh, thank you guys for that. But anyway, let's get started with this. I'm not going to lie, you guys. So far, this, I think, might actually be the best episode, at least of the four. I mean, this is the halfway point, after all. But, wow, this was the best episode. I enjoyed both the side plot and the main plot. So, we're going to start with the side plot. The B plot, of course, has to do with Archer constantly throwing out his uh, valets, you know, his butlers. Because, you know, who can replace Woodhouse? And so, of course, Archer has these unrealistic, crazy standards for his, um, you know, servants. And so, Mallory... Cheryl and Pam, along with Krieger, are basically taking over the interview process to hire a stable, permanent valet for Archer. And th they put the valet through a bunch of rigorous, crazy tasks, like, you know, um, whatchamacallit, uh, pressing a linen suit, making a drink, all while going through a dangerous grid of deadly lasers. I said dangerous and deadly, like that's not the same thing, but ignore that. Anyway, and all this time, like Pam is like, dude, I don't think you guys really understand what Archer needed Woodhouse for. Woodhouse was a confidant. Woodhouse had seen some shit. Woodhouse had done some shit. And so he was able to connect with Archer in that way because, you know, our line of work is tough. Archer has to make some tough calls. Do some pretty dark shit sometimes. And Woodhouse has been there. So that's what their connection is all about. And honestly, Woodhouse was a very much like a father figure to Archer as well. I mean, they didn't really touch on that part, but uh, definitely was implied. And this whole time I kept thinking, oh man, are they going to do it so that Pam becomes Archer's new valet? It seems like this is the direction they're going in. And then Alistair shows up. This badass, almost uh, like... Alfred Pennyworth, like, British, uh, like, butler, I, I was, like, running out of words there, and he is able to, like, you know, answer a situation, like, Pam gives him, like, a ridiculous Archer scenario, and he's able to, like, figure it out easy, he's able to fix the drink, get through the lasers, he, you know, is nice to everybody, and it seems like he should be able to handle Archer. I feel like there's some kind of secret double cross in here. Just because that's just usually how Archer works. The innocuous, like, seemingly nice character turns out to be a secret bad guy. And then the other way around, who seems to be the secret bad guy, turns out to be really nice. And that's what we find out with this episode. So, if you've been watching Archer for a long time, you know the probably longest running rivalry of the entire show is of course Archer and Barry. They go way, way, way back and that rivalry is, you know, long and deep-seated. So obviously when Archer sees that Barry works for Isis now and is a part of the team, he understandably is freaking the hell out. Like, that's his arch enemy. We're working with his arch enemy now? Like, is this what y'all did in three years? And of course Barry is just the absolute nicest person ever. Turns out, after Archer reconnected Barry with his mom, he started to get help, he got therapy, and he worked past his issues, and he seemed to be a very valuable member to the team. And all throughout, 
Barry is the one person that actually shows care towards Archer. You know, ask him how his day is, how, you know, he's dealing with, you know, coming out of the coma, how physical therapy is going. He's actually being attentive and being a, a really good friend to him. And, like, they start to really connect. And I love the friendship and dynamic that starts to build throughout this mission, which, of course, is a Terminator-style mission where they have to shut down Barry Nets, you know, this huge network of uh, berries that is being created in this uh, one factory. And so, basically, they have to upload a virus and shut down the Barry factory. Um, in the end, Barry ends up having to take this on solo because Lana and Archer end up bickering as they do. And he pulls like a T-800 style sacrifice, blowing himself up. And, you know, we think, oh shit, Barry's dead. That sucks. But it turns out Barry was able to transfer his consciousness uh, into another Barry bot before the explosion. So he's safe. However... I think the virus might have reactivated other Barry, his more negative personality. So there's, you know, something to uh, watch out for with Barry. Although I really do like his friendship with Arthur. I mean, I said Arthur. Archer. But, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, like, Archer and Barry as buds now. It's going to be a fun dynamic, and I'm excited. This introduces something new by bringing in a classic Archer character. I, this is what I love about this season so far. It's pretty freaking great. Uh, we're about halfway through. This season is only eight episodes long. I am really excited to see AJ. When does AJ show up? We have to see Archer's daughter, and we have to see him interact with her at least once before this season is over. I know we are guaranteed, I think, two more seasons. It got renewed for two more, I believe, or at least one more. I want to say it's two. Um, you know, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure they got renewed for two more seasons. Uh, but yeah, very excited for that whenever that happens. Uh, I'm excited to see how Archer treats this new valet and uh, what his dynamic with Alistair is going to be. Um, all in all, this episode was great. I really enjoyed it. It was really funny. Had a lot of great action. And of course, you know, interesting new character dynamics with characters that we already know and love. So it was pretty cool, and I just feel so bad for Cyril, to be honest, but it, I, I can't help but laugh at his expense, because he's fucking Cyril. Who isn't going to laugh at him? But anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts and feels in the comments down below about this episode as well. Uh, don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it, and if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I review Archer every single week, and I will be reviewing more tv shows as more stuff starts to come out you know we are still in uh pandemic times so uh there's not as much tv releasing on a weekly basis but you know i'll try my best to uh come out with as much content as i can uh i hope you guys enjoy the content i do produce uh but in the outro card i will leave linked my review of last week's episode of archer in case you missed out on that and i will leave linked a video youtube mysterious algorithm things you might like which i hope you do but until next time this is Jay from TV Time with Jay. You may now exit the danger zone. Till next time, I'll catch you later. Peace.